Ray's number one movie of the year, Oppenheimer. Yes. Uh, it's getting ready to make its home video debut. And Christopher Nolan is telling people, buy the physical media copy of it because streamers will come and steal your movies in the middle of the night. Uh, that's basically like dingoes. This, this comes to us from Christopher Nolan himself, who said the following. In the case of Oppenheimer, we have put a lot of care and attention into the Blu-ray version and trying to translate the photography and the sound, putting that into the digital realm with a version you can buy and own at home and put on a shelf so no evil streaming service can come and steal it from you. All right, so this adds again uh, to the ongoing debate of physical versus digital. Uh, in the, the current world we live in. Now, uh, just so you know, and full disclosure, I am a digital guy. I abandoned physical media about a decade ago um, for, for a lot of different reasons. And, uh, but I, I'm one of those people who also totally does see the advantages of physical media as well. There's some really good upside to owning physical media and all that kind of stuff. So here we have Christopher Nolan talking about this. And everybody knows he's got a real big hate on for at least his former bosses over at Warner Brothers and doesn't like the idea of streaming services. He is all about being a physical media and an in-movie theater guy. And I got to respect that. However, I also do kind of think, well, first, number one, I'm going to own Oppenheimer. It's, it's one of the best films of the year. I think it's still my second favorite film of the year. Raise it's his number one. I'm sure many of you guys have it in your top two or three best movies of the year list. It's fantastic. But I want to come back to this thing he said here about how no evil streaming service can come and steal it from you. This is one of those arguments that almost every time the debate about physical versus streaming media comes up, somebody inevitably brings this up that the, the streamers are going to come and steal it away from you. It's kind of like the same thing about, telling kids not to accept apples on Halloween because people put razor blades in them. Uh, fact check, that's never once happened. Uh, there's no recorded incident of that ever happening. Um, well, so why would you eat an apple on Halloween? Yeah, so, and we can go to the other screen, Jonathan. I, I as, as somebody who has done nothing but bought digital versions of movies for 10 years, I can honestly tell you I have never once in 10 years had any of my movies disappear. Now, I can't say the same about the all my years prior to that when I did collect DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that, physical media. I can't say the same about that. I had many physical copies of things go missing. Missing, lost, whether it's in transition, in move, somebody borrowed something, disc gets scratched, what, like all that kind of stuff. I lost many. I lost many. And I, I've never once had something. So there, there's, there's always this argument that they can come in and they can take it. It's like, okay, but that has never happened. Also, new report in Forbes, well, not new, but earlier this year, report in Forbes, saying that nearly one out of every three pieces of physical media that gets purchased actually never gets played. Almost, almost, not quite, but almost one out of every three physical discs that people buy never see the inside of a Blu-ray player. They like literally buy it and then it goes on a shelf and then almost one third, not quite, never then gets viewed. I remember once I asked our own Robert Meyer Burnett, hey, how many discs do you think you have? And, and he said some ridiculous number. And I said, how many do you think you've never actually taken out of the, the saran wrap or the seal wrap? He goes, more than I care to think about. <laughs> it's just like those survival kits or those those emergency like kits. Survival kit. It's like you buy them and you have them there, but we rarely use any of the things in there inside there, like the road flares or anything else. These are like, RMBs, uh, MREs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> RMBs, uh, MREs. Yep. So I mean, I get it. Listen, I I completely understand. I also like the idea of having the cool looking bookshelves with all the movies on display. I get that. I like the 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 quality control you have of you never have to worry about how good or bad your stream is or, or your internet connection is because you got the physical copy. I listen, I you don't have to sell me on the advantages of physical media. I, I totally understand. I just uh 
for me, it's this. I will not be buying a physical copy of Oppenheimer, but I will be buying a digital copy myself. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Quip. Guys, you know that good health starts with good habits, and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. For example, their incredible electric toothbrush. Guys, I've been using electric toothbrushes for years, and this is easily the best one I've ever owned. Timed sonic vibrations with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist-recommended two-minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues, as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop on your bathroom counter. Skip the bathroom batteries and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. In addition to brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from just $7. So if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia. That's G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash campia. Quip, the good habits company. Anyway, Chris, uh, your thoughts on Oppenheimer finally is going to be getting this home video release. What do you think about Christopher Nolan's comments? How do you see it? First of all, I'd like to apologize to our audience for not being Rob because <laughs> this is definitely his topic. I think this is a really great way to push Blu-rays because this definitely appeals to a certain kind of movie lover. Those who really do care about physical media, especially when it's a movie like this, it's such a prestigious one. We really don't know ultimately what's going to happen with media these days. We don't know where it's going to end up. And if they are all on servers looking towards the future, we don't necessarily know if we're going to have access to them. Now, I don't think that's going to be the case for something of Oppenheimer's caliber, but you have things like Disney Plus originals, things like that, that just yeah. go the way of the dodo and we'll never see them ever again. So if you truly love this film and you truly love Christopher Nolan, you're going to buy it. Now, am I going to? No. You don't truly love Christopher Nolan? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Chris. Sorry, that's the message little... here today. Yeah. I don't like having a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just don't. And you guys know this. I have a CD book that I put DVDs into that I still wanted to hang on to. Are you from the to. 90s? I am. Like, like. I am from the I, 90s. I don't mean like you live through the 90s and you're here, but you like. I'm a time traveler from, from the 90s. Yeah. I just showed up with my little caboodle <laughs> kit and my Lisa Frank stuff and was like, DVDs, let's go. Uh, I just, it's not for me, but I'm glad the option's there for other people. I do think it's a very intense way to get people to buy a DVD, but I can understand it. Yeah, and now also or Blu-ray rather. Here's me. here's the problem though, coming for both whether whatever side of the argument you're on. Here's the truth about something that's coming to screw all of us, whether you, you're a digital collector like me or a physical media collector like some of you guys. The reality is, Chris just brought up the Disney Plus thing, right? There's a time coming when and it's already starting to arrive when there are certain things that are never going to be put on physical media because they've been phasing out physical media, but. I also believe there's a time coming where you're not even going to be able to buy a digital copy of something. I, I think a time is coming when it's like, you got to have a streaming service in order to be able to watch something. And I'm not even going to be able to buy physical copy, or I'm not even going to be able to buy digital copies of it. Yeah. And where that really is going to become problematic is when we see in the reality of the world of streaming, okay, we're only going to make these things on streaming because you want we want you to be st streaming subscribers. Okay, great. Well, now we don't want to have this thing on our streaming service anymore because it's costing us money, but not making us any money. So there's going to come a time when we are literally going to have movies and shows. Like as of right now, I don't have an answer to this. I don't know if anybody does. If I wanted to watch The World According to Jeff Goldblum today, if I wanted to go home tonight and watch it, I have no idea how I can do that. I don't think there are physical copies of it. BitTorrent. I mean, really, I mean, it'd become <laughs> our heart. It's a pirate's life for me, right? So, I mean, I don't know. And that is that is something that is good. So while we, the, the a bunch of us stand here on the sidelines going, no, physical, no, digital. The reality is I think we both might be screwed <laughs> pretty soon. So Truly. Uh, what's that? I said truly. Yeah. There's yeah. 
I just I, don't know uh, how we're going to get stuff. I just don't know how we're going to get stuff. Some. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.